BAM! Welcome guys to the first 101 on the Didi BAM indicator. On the screen guys, we have a chart of the 6th November 2020. It is a bull market, like you can see. So the 101 strategy is the best in a bull market. This is not an advice on how to trade, it's just how I use my indicator. First, you can see two sections on the screen. The top chart has the margin call 1.03 step, which in itself has a long and short alert and a confirmation flags, a Bollinger Bands and a step line. Below that, you can see the volume, which is a free indicator on TradingView, and the chart below is the DD-BAM indicator. And that one here has four lines, the center white line, the upper green line, the lower red line, and the blue signal line. The green, the white, and the red lines move with the mood of the market. And when the blue line crosses up or down over these moving lines, this blue line up the red line, or here down the green line and the white line, or up the white line, that indicates an optimal point to enter the markets given past results and that calculus that is used in this indicator. Why do you need the DDBAM indicator, you might ask? Think of it as a map that gives you the warning of the bears and the bulls that you may encounter along the way. You know the destination, you just don't know the safest route. That's why you need the DD-BAM indicators, and that's how you learn to read the DD charts and you will understand why you need the DD-BAM indicator. The first thing is how to read the DD-BAM for a long. And I have placed an arrow, number one, this one over here, to signal the indicator for of a long. This is the blue signal line, so you can see the blue signal line is crossing the red line to the upside. This is an early indication of a long. To confirm that long, you would look to the upper indicator for a green long flag, here. So we can see the blue line crossing the red line over here, and then a little bit later we can see this green long flag appear. Mostly it happens when this blue line crosses the red line, but not always. As shown with arrow 3 over here, guys, when the blue signal crosses the white center line, the direction of the market is becoming clear. But you must take into account the color and the position of the candles to the yellow step line over here. At nearly all times, the long call will come before the candles start to sit above this yellow step line. If the main body of the candles never clear the yellow step line, then you need to be alert on the fact that support for this increase in price is very weak. If as in the indicated long, the candles clear the yellow line and continue to stay clear, then you can feel confident to remain in the trade until the blue signal line drops below the white line. And even then, if the body of the candles are still above or on the yellow step line, the trend is still in play. So the safest way to play is to finally go long when the body closed above this yellow stepping line. From that point on, we are in a long. Then the next point is when do we exit the market? To exit or entry if you're taking a short, you potentially have an exit here, at this point where the blue line is crossing downwards on the top green line. So it's going from the top across the green line towards the white line. But always be aware, this could also be a consolidation, so experience is key here. The second exit point is a little bit lower when this blue line is crossing the white center line. This is normal the moment that the short flag appears. Like you can see above, this short flag is appearing when this blue line is crossing down on this white line. Then there is a third exit point, which is basically each time the blue signal line descends over each line. But remember, while the candles are on or above this yellow step line, over here they are above, and the steps are still climbing to profits, then there is a chance that the short flag is just a consolidation and the price will hover a while and then continue up. This is where the past experience and your choices come in. You could take your profit and wait for the next long flag or use your knowledge and stay in the trade. Ultimately, it's your call. The things to remember, trades are like buses. You can always take the next bus. So always choose the side of caution. 
When you see the white DD BAM center line around or below the 40, you can see this white line. You can see numbers over here. When you see the white DD BAM center line around or below the 40 point, is when you can most expect a parabolic climb in price. Like you can see here, it is near this 40 point, and you can see the huge parabolic climb. If the line is around the 80 point, around this level, then the price normally needs a period of consolidation to allow the bulls rest. If it is ever above 90, then you need a very close stop losses, and if it is below 10 points, then the chances of a continued drop are very low. So when this white line is coming around 90, then you need a very close stop loss because that's an indication that the market is going to turn around. And when we would be below 10 points, then the chances, guys, of a continued stop are very low. So then you can, that's an indicator that the market is turning around and going up again. Thanks for listening to this first 101 session, guys. And if you didn't understand it all, then listen it again. And if you don't understand it then, then please leave a comment in the Discord server where we will try to help you a little bit further. Thanks for listening, guys. And see you at the next one-on-one -on -one session on the DD BAM indicator. And always remember, guys, to zoom out on the charts and to zoom in at life because you need to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what life is about. But if you have some free time, then you zoom in onto the charts and you start to trade with the DD Bam Bam indicator. Thanks for listening and see you at the next one. Bye.